In what ways does your media product use, develop or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? At the beginning of the project we made a mood board with what dance music was all about. By doing this we found out that most dance music, music videos included girls, alcohol, dancing, neon colours, partying and the sun. In our video we made sure we kept some of these aspects such as girls, alcohol and bright colours. We did this in two ways, by filming and editing. In various parts of the video we made the colour of the film bright such as blue, pink, green and yellow. After looking at other artists' music videos, we noticed that in all videos the editing was fast paced and in time with the music, however this was exaggerated with the dance genre. Therefore we incorporated this into our music video. We edited it in time with the claps in the song. At the start the pace was quite slow so the shots were we used are on the screen are uh, therefore there for a longer space of time. As the song moves on, the pace quickens, so we made sure our shots keep up with the pace and they change shots more quickly and quickly. Also, by researching other music videos and gathering audience feedback, we learned that dance music videos are rarely performance-based. So due to this, ours is a mixture between narrative and artistic style. The narrative is two girls getting ready, going, getting ready to go out, however the shots are not all in order and sometimes go back on themselves, which makes it artistic. We've gone against the codes and conventions of dance music videos here by having a narrative as they usually do not and are purely artistic. The music video itself is a promotional tool and is aimed at teenage girls. We have satisfied the audience needs because the video and the song represents friendships and not romantic friends relationships, which also rejects normal conventions as usually songs are based on romantic relationships. We've made the digipack look unique, fresh and new. This reflects the conventions of the dance genre. Other factors such as image, colouring and font also represent dance. The main image is an eye which is artistic in the sense it is abnormal. It is also symbolic to the CD name as it, as it is called Feel So Close and the main image is an extreme close-up of an eye. Colours usually associated with dance music are mainly bright or neon. Therefore, we have made the iris of the eye various different neon colours. However, the background is a different shade of pink, which doesn't necessarily link in with the conventions, but it does link in with our main target audience, which is teenage girls. After researching real life media texts, such as other dance artists' CD covers, we discovered that the fonts used were usually distorted or digital. In our whole digipack, we used both. On the front we used the distorted font as we thought it would be clearer to read as it is bolder and on the inside we used a digital style font to keep with these ideas. My advent, advert has gone against the normal themes that we have used throughout our digipacks. I have used a fluorescent green theme instead of the bright pinks to create a whole new aspect of digipack. I created the new green theme by changing the colour on Photoshop. I still kept the continuity as I have used the front image of the artistic eye and incorporated into my advert to link it all together. The reason I thought I would go completely different colour scheme of dark colours and green is for other target audience to be attracted to buy the digipack. I use the greens to make sure it captures the old teenage boys as well as attracting it to teenage girls. This will create a range of audience to buy the digipack. I have also used the same font sideways which we have used throughout our digipack to, commit, to create more continuity. I researched other real media texts and found that most adverts include a five star rating, so I decided to include one to make the whole advert seem more realistic and genuine. From looking at real media texts, I noticed that most adverts were promoting that were promoting album releases included some or the entire album could cover itself. Therefore, my advert goes along with the conventions of an advert promoting a new CD. It does this by taking parts of the CD cover and expanding on them. I have kept the colours, image and the font the same. However, by using various tools in Photoshop, I have spread out the parts of the background and smudged them together so that the texture is there but with a new texture as well. This gives a really good effect and I am happy with the result. How effective is the combination of your main product and auxiliary task text? Throughout our music video and our ancillary test, we have made a few links to make them 
recognisable to each other. This is an effective. This is effective. However, we could not have made more crossovers to make these links more formidable. Um, the main image on the front cover of, of our digi pack is an extreme close up of an eye. In our music video, we have a few clips of me or Eloise applying mascara. This is to this is an extreme close up shot. Um, this can also be seen as a representation of the song title, Feel So Close, because the eye looks like it's directly looking at the audience, which could make them feel close to the person in the shot or in the image. Through audience feedback and personal research, we discovered that bright neon colours are very important when it comes to dance music. Therefore, we have included these colours into our digipack and we have carried on the scheme into the video as well. To do this, we have edited a selection of the shots on our movie so that they will be brightly coloured. We chose the shots carefully and noticed that the colour shots were best when the music is at its fastest. The colouring of the shots looks very creative and fits in really well with the genre. All in all, the combination of the ancillary text and our main product is very effective. The links are obvious and clear as well as being creative and original. What have you learnt from your audience feedback? Throughout our project, we were constantly gaining audience feedback in written and film forms. It was important to us to use, to use what we have learned from audience feedback in all stages of our project. When creating our digipack, audience feedback was highly useful, especially when playing around with fonts and colour schemes. From audience feedback, we learned that our chosen font for the whole digipack, Sideways, was too hard to read in some places of the design. Due to this, we researched other fonts that fit in with the genre. We kept the original font on the outside covers of our digipack and just altered the size of some words to make them clearer. However, on the inside, we changed the font to a digital style font that Calvin Harris himself has used on previous albums. This font was a lot easier to read. Also, on the inside of the digipack, audience feedback told us that there was too much writing as we had the lyrics to the song on there. Someone suggested that we take certain phrases or words from the song and feature them instead. So taking in our, our feedback, we tried this and it looked really good. We've made some of the words bigger and smaller to create variety. Before we gained our audience feedback, the outside covers and inside of our digipack were different colours. The inside was a lot brighter as it had a it was very vibrant print pink. And the outside was a paler shade of pink. With the encouragement of from audience feedback, we changed this so that the inside and outside of the digipack was paler pink, creating smooth continuity between the two. Also, this way the background colour didn't overpower the main images and the font stood out more, which is what we were aiming for. Through audience feedback, we've learned a lot about our products and have made some crucial changes that, which we may not have done if it wasn't for the feedback. It gives you a different perspective on the matter and a valid one as well, due to us asking mainly people from our target audience range. How did you use media technologies in the construction and research, planning and evaluation stages? When researching real life media techs and the genre we used different media technologies. Primarily, we used the internet as a basis for our research, as Google and Bing are good sources of information. We generally use this, these sites as a starting point. Firstly, we researched our genre and both created a move board out of pictures from Google we used in PowerPoint. We then uploaded these onto our blog, which again is a media technology. As this is all secondary research, we gained our primary research by filming various different people asking questions about the genre and music videos. After filming these, we edited the clips and made a few little films. We did this using iMovie on the Apple Macs and through YouTube we uploaded these onto our blogs. When planning our work, we used various different media technologies. The main technology we used throughout the whole project was our blog. This is where we can upload all of our work into one place, which makes it easier for us and teachers to analyse. As the digipack took a lot of planning, we tended to use Photoshop quite a lot. From this, our skills of using this media technology have improved a vast amount. Again, throughout our planning, we were constantly filming audience feedback, which had to be edited 
on iMovie, which helped us understand this technology better for when it came to editing our final music video. When planning and storyboarding our music video, we created an animatic using iMovie to make the idea clearer to both of us. This again proved our skills using this technology. When constructing our Digipack and music video, we use different media technologies. When constructing our Digipack, we mainly used Photoshop to edit the, the photos we took, we took and to turn them into the main images of our product. We learned how to use, use various different tools on Photoshop in the planning stages. This helped a lot when it came to creating the final piece as we then had an idea of how to use the technology. We updated our blogs at every stage of creating our Digipack. When it came to filming and editing our music video, the main technology we used was iMovie on the Apple Macs. However, filming was the most important part. We used a HD video camera to film our shots so that the video was the best quality it could be after editing. To edit, we used iMovie on the Apple Macs. Through collecting audience feedback, throughout our project we have we had a vague idea of how to use the technology. However, from editing our video on this programme, we, have, we now have a clear understanding of how to use it. To publish our video, we had to upload it onto YouTube. This had made it easy to show people when gaining audience feedback due to YouTube being a very well-known technology. This also made it possible to share our video onto various social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter, again this helped with when gathering feedback.